Day two, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we woke up, got in an Uber, and met this really interesting Uber driver. You guys uh, look like you're ready to party. You got a camera, you got some booze, you got some bags. All of it. Who was formerly in the military and uh, had an incredible story that I just wanted to share with you guys. Deployment, deployment, stateside. And I'm gonna get out of the cockpit and remain here in Nashville. I've got three beautiful little girls. Oh, and so nice. for me to be the dad that I wanna be and be in their lives. Don't wanna be flying around. I can't be or I'll never see them. Yeah. yeah. Not because, you know, you know, future ex-wife is, is mean or nothing like that. It's just, you know, we're not living under the same roof anymore so if I want to see him I gotta put down the thing I love so that I can spend time with them so yeah. Yeah. stuff happens especially military life it's hard it's hard on families man yeah it's hard no doubt yeah you pay your dues in more ways than one I paid my dues with a couple of uh, you know scars in my lower back and that's why I'm not in the uniform anymore oh wow so the things that I've had, been able to go through have been pretty pretty cool not exactly the most positive things, but it doesn't matter if they're positive or negative. It matters what you do with them at the end. Yeah, it so. makes you a... Well, it helps you grow. We all grow through character, pain. Man. Yeah, we go through, grow through pain. Left. And uh, good luck left. with your uh, continued blogging and traveling the world, man. It sounds like a blast. Thank you. What's your name, man? Seth. Seth. Yeah, Thanks. Ford. Pleasure. Appreciate the service. Thanks, brother. Thanks, man. Y'all have a good one, okay? You too, dude. See you, Joy. See you. I'm giving this guy the highest tip possible. Yeah. Thanks, Seth. You're awesome. Then we got to Billy's and uh, started to get to work. Lots of stuff that goes into developing these products. I mean, a lot of people don't realize, you know, when you create something like this, you've got to tell the world about it. And one of the best ways to do that is through video. So we put a lot of time and effort um, and thought into how we approach the video. What kind of videos are, are we going to make? What are they going to look like? You know, how are we going to put them together? How are they going to be edited? Where will we put them out? Where are we going to release them? You know, what's going to be the release schedule? How are we going to get people to help us release it? Like all this stuff that goes into the video process, but it all starts with creating that initial video. And uh, shout out to my a &R guy at JST, Fluff, who came up with a lot of the ideas that we actually ended up filming for Billy. Um, and they fit Billy's personality so well. So I'm real stoked about that content that we got to film with him. And uh, here's a couple clips from that. My bus glue signature series. <laughs> you actually don't need to clap anymore. Oh, I don't need to clap. All right. Yeah, it was supposed to use the first time. Just the one time. Up. That's an outtake. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I am not the mayor, but <laughs> <laughs> my sounds. Ah, that sucks. B <laughs> hey there, I'm Billy Decker. <laughs> <laughs> So then we worked up an appetite and decided to get lunch and we went to this place called ML Rose. Uh, I really like this place. We actually had a URM uh, meetup here and if you aren't familiar with URM, it's Unstoppable Recording Machine Academy. That is the audio production education platform that I helped co-found here a few years ago. We had a meetup when we did it in Nashville with Billy Decker on Nail the Mix. We had that meetup here in at uh, ML Rose and this is a really great restaurant. Unfortunately, this time they weren't so nice to us. The last time we were there, they let us film and it was great. But this time they told us to turn the cameras off and they got really weird and they said that we had to have the owner's permission. And then we like asked for, you know, the owner's contact information or we asked to speak to the owner and he wasn't there and it just got really weird. So unfortunately I won't be able to show everything, but we had some really good conversations sitting at that table. And let's jam and like let's try and like try different stuff in our song. So it's, sometimes I would do that, and then there'd be other times where the guitar player would be like, "Look, I fucking wrote all these songs. I'm just gonna sit here and demo it all out, and then we can manipulate it inside the computer." Um, then there would be times where the band would come in with half a record, kind of how they want it, and they want my opinion on it still, and then the other half left to chance just to see what we come up with. And so sometimes we'll just sit there and start with a riff, then that leads to another riff, then that leads to a chorus, which then leads to a verse, which then leads to a bridge, and then all of a sudden you have a song, and then you just start uh, editing, cranking out different, you know, drum fills, coming up with different stuff. 
we came over, we're working, we had a late lunch. Yeah. What the hell are all these old motherfuckers doing in there? <laughs> Nobody works anymore. So then we went back to Billy's, filmed some more. Um, man, Billy is a riot. He's so funny, and the videos just came out super great. Then we decided to go to dinner. Uh, we kind of just went online to find this dinner spot. We were looking for sort of an upscale um, thing to sort of celebrate. We ended up finding this place um, just randomly, Del Frisco's Grill. And the place is really nice, the decor looked nice. You guys, you gotta, you gotta know the name of this thing here. Oh, that's fine. Here, here at, uh, what is this place called? Del Frisco? Del Taco. This is the boner filet. Um, it's because it's got a freaking bone in it, bro. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Truffle mac and cheese, salmon, asparagus, champagne. We're rocking and rolling. Our waiter came over to the table and introduced himself as Richie kind of started talking and realized that we were all part of the same scene and I realized that he was a musician he was in a band and like I'm this producer and I don't think he totally recognized me so I kind of told him like you know I've worked on this album that album and then all of a sudden it clicked and we we made a connection and you know only in Nashville right or maybe LA but it seems like only in Nashville you're gonna just go to a random restaurant and meet somebody that's in your music scene. I'm glad that you uh, stopped in. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the food Us too. Well. Obviously, you're right? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure. Thank you, man. See you guys soon. Nice, nice watch. You. Thank you for you hanging out with me for yeah, a bit. Yeah, for sure. Captain, nice it's a pleasure. You. I'll see y'all soon. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Shout out to Richie from Arch Echo. Um, he hooked us up on the meal and just amazing band. You gotta go listen to them. He's a really great drummer. I'll have a link in the description so you can go check that out. <laughs> see you later, man. <laughs> see you. So after we got done eating, we decided to walk the streets of Lower Broadway and we found this rooftop bar called L.A. Jackson and oh my gosh, the, the view here is incredible. You can see all of downtown Nashville and if you ever go to Nashville, you got to stop by here, grab a drink. Uh, it's always really busy, so be prepared, but it is worth the view and worth the environment, the atmosphere. The, the drinks, the whole nine, it's all good. That wraps up day two in Nashville, Tennessee. Check out the next episode where we go to 12th and South, eat some amazing barbecue, and we stick Steve in a trunk. Mm -hmm.